Let it charge for a while. That's unfortunate. Today we're finishing the interior of my RV converted short bus. Let's go inside the bus and I can show you what exactly we have to finish to make it finished. So we walk into the bus and we have our interior. It looks great. It looks so much better than it ever has. But there are things that aren't finished. Can you figure them out? I'm going to start off with the windows. There's absolutely no trim. You can see bare stud their insulation. That's not good. The roof is not finished. We have holes where the old speakers were. You can see the where the wall is built. The shelves are open. We have to somehow close off the shelves. The benches are great. They look good, but they're really uncomfortable because they're just hard wood. So we're going to be making some cushions for the benches and hopefully also eventually making this be able to go up and down and turn this into a couch. The bedroom is pretty good. It needs window trim. It needs the uh, shelves to be cut off. This door needs to be trimmed up because you can see the stud and the, the the three different layers. So we'll put some sort of trim on there. And the cabinets, they look good. There's no knobs to open them. So you kind of have to like, it's not too difficult, but it's, it's not easy. The inside is obviously not organized. It's no shelves, no nothing, just empty space. So we're going to build shelves. We're going to make some organization stuff. Now, one of the major things you might not be able to tell is the paint. It looks decent on camera, but in real life, it's kind of meh it's very splotchy so we put three layers of paint on here but you can start to see where the wood is showing through I'm not sure if that's because of the sun or what but it needs a new layer of paint the other problem is that this white paint we use some normal eggshell paint and it just it stains so easily this has all been scrubbed as much as we possibly can to try to clean it off, but it's just, it's stained. So we're gonna be using a cabinet paint, which is glossier, but easier to clean. It's scuff resistant, oil resistant. Hopefully it doesn't get these stains on it. Now we're also gonna be repainting some things. This interior looks awesome, but it's kind of bland. Brown, white, and gray are the three colors and a little bit of black. Mm -hmm. Point is, is that it doesn't feel very homey. It looks awesome, doesn't feel very homey. So we wanna to try to make it more homey. We're gonna bring some color in with the cushions. We'll hopefully bring some color in with the paint. We wanna decorate it so it looks like a home, you know, make it our own. And we wanna get new bedding because this bedding is from the old setup, doesn't look good. Oh, speaking about in here, we actually are gonna be building an end table right here and a little shelf to go along the back. We also have to fix the holes in these walls. Oh, I remember one more thing, this, this area. So down here, down here is our storage area. The problem is that this storage area is for the race cars and the, the bus itself. So it's got the jack, the tools to work on the cars, and it has tire, fluids, all that. We don't necessarily want that. What I want to do is I want to build mounts and carriers on the trailer for all this stuff. So we're gonna mount the bus spare tire underneath the chassis. We'll make a mount for the jack, we'll make a toolbox, we'll make a tire rack on the trailer so we can have all that on the trailer. And then this will open up for living stuff. I want to carpet this area and clean it all off so we can put blankets down here, we can put clothes down here, we can put food, we can put anything that we want down here without it getting dirty and it's just like a make it a nicer interior thing. Like this stuff does not have to be stored inside. So at some point back here, I want to make a little rack that has a storage compartment and a mount for the spare tire. Something that you see on, you know, adventure vans and stuff looks really badass, really useful. I also want to build a ladder to go to the roof so we can service the solar panels up there if we need to without having to have a step ladder on us. These windows, since we blocked them off from the inside, we painted them on the outside with black plasti dips. So we're gonna go and paint those with gray plasti dip. Gotta repair some damage from when the tire exploded. And we gotta repair some plasti dip, cause plasti dip stinks. 
we aren't focusing too much on making it badass. I do want to make it badass, you know, it makes a thousand pound feet of torque, but no lift, no off-road tires, no cool lights, none of that yet. That'll be, you know, in the future. So that's everything that we want to do in here. We're gonna be spending the next couple of weeks on the channel doing this stuff. Um, all the other builds right now are sorted. Drift truck's good, Molly's good, Dotson, good stopping point. We wanna get this thing done. We don't wanna forget about it. We wanna finally finish this thing. In this video, we're gonna take off all the trim, take off all the cabinets. We're gonna start painting. Without any further ado, let's get started. Real talk real quick. I know the bus videos might not be the most exciting thing. You know, it's not building a drift truck or anything cool like that. But I just gotta tell you guys that I love working on this thing. I have so many great memories in this bus going on trips all across the country that whenever I'm in here doing stuff like this, it makes me feel, feel so nostalgic. Um, you know, there's like a certain smell in here and just a certain feel that reminds me of these trips. And uh, it's really awesome. It makes me really happy just sitting here and working. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, anyway, I have to clean the walls and then uh, tape and then paint. layer of paint is on the walls it's looking good i think it needs a layer if not two more layers helpers have arrived aaron audrey i mean helpers they're not really helping bruh <laughs> jared's out there helping though so one of the cool things that we decided we wanted to do was some chalkboard paint so on the entrance way, we're gonna be using chalkboard paint. So if we ever see you guys at an event or something, you can write a little message on the bus or whatever. Um, it also just looks cool. So chalkboard paint. <laughs>
Today, the cabinet doors are looking great with their clear coat on them. The chalkboard paint is finished. All the white paint in there is finished. We have to wait a couple days before we can start writing on here with chalk, but that will be exciting. Yeah, paint in here looks awesome. No more dirtiness, it's all clean. It should hopefully clean off easier. Next step is to work on this window trim. That's really the main thing that's not finished in here. Then we'll start working on the doors, these other cabinets, and hopefully get this front room all finished by the end of the day. Hey, well for this window trim, we have some thin pieces of wood that will go on the surface of each thing, blocking off the different layers. And then on the face, we'll have trim like this going all the way around. We will stain this the same color as this stuff up there and uh, attach everything. <laughs> And we got all those trim pieces cut, at least the ones that go on the inside lip. Um, we're going to have to glue these in, get them all finished before we start making the other stuff because this, the way these sit will determine how long and short we cut those. So what I have to do is I have to stain them and then glue them and nail them in or just glue them in. Then we'll build the front trim, stain those, put those on, and then we will clear coat everything. card only has 57 seconds left. I have 57 seconds to outro this video. Interior on the Adventure Bus is looking much better. Paint is on. Chalkboard paint is on. Clear coat on all cabinets is on. Trim is on. This is the big thing for this video. This front section is now trimmed. We have the shelf cut out. We have some other stuff. A lot of progress. In the next video, you'll see us making some custom cushions for our booties right here. Also putting the table back in and buttoning up this front section. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, whatever. And I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Subscribe, support the channel on Patreon, and three, two, one. I decided I have more to say, so this is my phone. As part of the agreement between my patrons and me for helping support this build and getting that engine rebuilt, I said I was going to write all my patrons' name who donated that month on the bus somewhere. The question is where? My first idea, my first idea was right here. Make an aluminum plaque that kind of rivets on the outside with all the names right here. It'll block off all the stuff from being seen down there because there's nothing important down there. Anyone who's driving behind me can see everything that's underneath my bed. It's not like that's bad, but this would be a good spot to put it. Um, but I kind of like the way the rear looks with nothing there. You know, it just, it just looks good. It's a good looking bus rear end. And I think a, a big thing of aluminum right there might ruin it. Here's a better idea. Up here on the front, we have this side window that we partially blocked off. Uh, for the speaker and stuff. I don't I don't ever use a side glass the windshields big and there's this glass door right here So if I'm trying to turn into a, a road, I never really use this um, And it's really ugly because you can see the foam stuff that we sprayed inside the walls 
So we can put a metal plate here, nice big plate of aluminum, and write all the names on that. I think that will look good because there's kind of like an indent in here, which is perfect for a sheet. And I think that would be kind of cool to have all the names right there. Anyone who's ever walking into the bus sees it right here. If it's on the back, it gets seen every once in a while. But this is more memorable, I think. So that's what I'm leaning towards. Swipe up. No, no, just, just vote. Up to the top left or top right. I don't ever know which one it is. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to Pasha for editing this video. Um, go check out Just Pasha's channel. And I'll see you guys in the next bus video. Peace out.